So in this video, I want to talk about the anime known as Banished from the Heroes Party. I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside and talking about the chances of a season three for this series. Now, a thing to note is that season one did come out in October of 2021. Season two came out in January of 2024. Season 1 was 13 episodes, Season 2 is 12 episodes. Just a note so that we have all that bit of information on the, the, the table. And of course, Studio Flade, F-L-A-D is the pronunciation. I don't know why I messed it up before. And of course, subbed and dumped, dubbed on Crunchyroll. Pronunciations all over the place. So... The first thing, of course, I always try to look up on is how much of the source material was covered. I couldn't actually find anywhere to indicate how much was covered, so I would generally go with the generic kind of uh, assumption of between four to five volumes per season. Sometimes it can be less, sometimes it can be more. So if I was to go with worst case scenario, with five then say like 10 volumes were covered for seasons one and two there are currently now 14 volumes one the net well volume 14 came out may the 1st of 2024 for the japanese release for the english release volume 12 september the 17th of 2024 there is a manga but the main source material is the light novels so i mainly focus on those the thing is, is, is clearly the light novels are still releasing new volumes, around two volumes per year. So, if we were to use that worst case scenario, it'd be like every three years you'd have enough material for another season. And if you look at when the anime came out, 2021, 2024, between the two seasons, you could definitely see that them doing another season with that kind of window. If it used less volumes, then yeah, there'd be enough material. But even if we used the best case scenario of like, three or four volumes that would leave it between six to eight volumes be covered so it would leave a bit of a window to do another another season but it would also not leave much material left for a fourth season if they wanted to do that later on so it could be one of those situations it could be either or either so i would definitely think that if a season three was to happen which i think is a possibility based on the merchandise that is available out there there is actually a decent chunk for this series and sure, season two didn't get the same amount of interest, but it has a strong, steady fan base, and clearly there was interest in it from that point of view to do a seasons one and two. Well, season one, of course, would be a source material seller. Season two clearly shows interest, but even with a season two, its still main objective is to sell the source material. So I do think there is a solid chance for a season three. I just think it could be one of those where you could be waiting a couple of years for a season three announcement, but it's no guarantee. I would say it's kind of kind of a coin flip, a 50-50 chance, just based on all that information available, because there was clearly marketing behind it, clearly merchandise behind it. The light novels are doing fairly well. It's uh, English translation is done by Yen Press. Same for the manga, I believe. And so, yeah, there's interest there. I, I think you could definitely see a season three coming down the roadmap if they wanted to re-promote the light novels to keep pe keep pushing people to go buy the light novels. Because a lot of the cases is what a lot of fans will do is they will purchase the previous volumes and read through them all. One, to see what's missing from the source material, which is what I always recommend anyway. Start from volume one onwards because there's always differences between the, the light novels and the animes. And then, of course, people will continue to purchase from onwards. So it, it is a great way of re-promoting the light novels. It seems to be it's more of a common used technique now rather than just doing the one-hit wonder, one season, that's it. But if a season three was to be announced, it would take some time for that to happen. Because again, remember, season two came out January of 2024, which is this year as of uploading this video. So you could be waiting another two or so years for that window of another season announcement and then you'd be waiting a year and a half give or take for that to then come out so i'm just kind of giving a window of if a season three was to happen that's the kind of window that you could be looking at just based on that track record but it could also take longer and it could maybe be shorter but i think you'd be more likely to see the kind of same track record if not longer just because again the only time a lot of things get announced really quickly is when it's super, super, super popular and really churning out a lot of interest. And this is not one of those because there isn't like other ways that they're building money. It's mostly light novels, streaming, and merchandise. 
there's no mobile games or collaborations with mobile games that they're doing that could bring in an extra revenue stream. So that's as far as everything that I know that I could glean. But I would last love to ask the question, what source was covered? Because when I look it up, I couldn't find anything, even for season one, because I was going to use season one and use it as a basis of what season two covered. But I couldn't even see that for season one. And when I go to the Wikipedia, the fan Wikipedia, it's not even updated. The normal Wikipedia is the one that has all the light novel update or releases, but the fan one is just completely desolate, which is a common thing when it comes to a lot of series like these. Fan wikis just never get updated unless the series becomes super mainstream and then then they decide to update it. So if anything does change, you know me, I'll update the channel. Of course, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.